hello and uh, welcome back to this part 2 of debian linux installation tutorial remember in our last part we could not get full screen working so the trick was that you go to your uh, um, virtual box and uh, <coughs> and you go to devices and you click install guest additions so we say install guest additions and then it is actually already mounted so yeah. you first uh, do the mounting and then you can actually see that and as you see that we have a virtual box already in I mean the full screen working so KD has been installed okay so you see it detects that okay so this is the norm we don't want norm we want KD the looks have also improved so we want to go to plasma desktop now plasma desktop is loading okay let it load will take some time okay. it is somewhat slower as far as loading is concerned so now as you can see we have received the notification that we have got this so we go to our go to our uh, utilities and, uh, okay, now the external is here not in the console I need the console console ok this is the one I am looking for ok so for recording purposes uh, this is the first time so I will have to change the profile for you to better view this I'll choose black and white and I'll increase the font a bit. Okay. So that should be fine. So now what you need to do is uh, that you go to a console, not a terminal emulator, emulator like this in virtual box like this. And then you log in as root. and then you stop the window manager which was for our case gdm3 so you say stop i will not show you that this step because this will kill uh, gdm3 but it is not running actually so nothing will be stopped now you need to generate a file called xorg.com.new which you can generate by saying xorg dot xorg minus configure ok so since xorg is already running it gave me error otherwise it would have generated this file so it looks like this it looks like this what you need to do is you need to make it look like this you see you need to add this section and you need to add all this stuff but before that you will have to install the virtual box additions so that is here okay so you see this file right so that you will have to run as root so you say dot slash so once this step is done your uh, virtual box setup is ready and uh, 
then we can have that 14 by 40 resolution and then you can press ctrl s so you can see all this and then you can also run in seamless mode and you can actually minimize this and you will have your kd stuff also here so now you see this goes below because we have forced 1440 by 900 so you can adjust that also but it looks like a perfect uh, um, uh, Linux uh, desktop if I run it like this and you see this is screencast you won't even know that I'm running it on a VM unless you get hints there are certain hints you can get here like certain titles contain at the right uh, vbox desktop so you run this thing uh, um, that uh, mnt cd rom media cd rom so remember to run this as root and then you remember to do the XR configuration why it did not work our Linux edition and editions was because of the fact that Debian has older repository so it will never work one more change you will have probably you will have to do is default virtual boxes load v box drv module is equal to zero so once you do all this it is going to be work flawlessly and now you see you have also installed kde so lots of stuff i have got i have got this patch and then i have this and then i have got this so a lot more uh, stuff i have installed in the meantime i was uh, uh, doing this and that's like an hour later I'm recording this video it looks cool not bad so that's it for now from my side see you uh, in next series of programming tutorials I'm sorry that my last video I accidentally clicked this and then it uh, got terminated so there's an abnormal termination in my previous video i deeply regret that so keep watching thanks